Okay. So hereditary and evolution. Uh, you know, um, the characters from our parents, grandparents, right? It passes from one generation to next generation, right? So that is called hereditary. And the process, right? It is called inheritance. The process by which inheritance. Okay, the process by which the characters are passed from one generation to next generation. It is called inheritance. Okay. So how this uh, happens through reproduction, which we have learned in previous class. So from parents only we get traits. Okay. The similarities in progeny, our offspring, our child is due to transmission of characters. Our traits from parents to offspring is known as hereditary. Okay. Right. We are similar or different to our parents. Right. That transmission is known as heredity and that process is known as inheritance. Got it? And some of us, are, uh, in some organism, right, like the unicellular organism, amoeba, the offspring are similar, carbon copy, right? And uh, for others, right, there is some difference, right? And that difference is what we call as variation, okay? And uh, if the variation is happening for a long period of time, the species will evolve. And that is called evolution. Okay. And it occurs gradually, slowly, slowly. Okay. So here we are going to learn about heredity and evolution. And in your uh, syllabus, evolution will not come. Heredity is only there, right? So then, have you seen? That's what I'm asking. Okay. Now, how... Uh, it is happening. See, this is, I'm putting this box, okay? This is male and this is female. And what do we have here? We have children. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Okay. So, this is the first generation. This is second generation. And this is, this one is third generation, right? This is grandparents one. And this is grandchild one. So, the child will be different and similar to the uh, grandparent, right? And and uh, uh, parent also, parents also, right? So the body design will be same and will be somewhat different, okay? And this is the accumulation will happen, the variation, right? It will accumulate, that means it will go on increasing, right? Because in here, between the grandparent and the grandchild, there will be large difference in compared to the parents. Okay, the uh, the variation is accumulating. Okay. Pranam, can you let me draw this? Which one? Which one? This one. Right? Yeah. This, this is uh, mm, uh, what we call uh, pedigree analysis. And here, this one, this box one, we do, we say that is male, and this circle one that is female. And we always go from the left hand side. Okay. So this is the first child, this is the second child, and this is the third child. First, second, third. First, second, third. First, second, third, fourth. It is like that. Okay? Yes. You have done that, right? Shazan, your turn on your camera. Have, have you done that? Okay, we'll start. Uh, I'll give you a PDF. You can do this. Okay, now inheritance how is this happening this variation how the uh, character is the characters are inherited how it is happening because of dna, DNA. yes because of dna oh, what is dna made up of it's made up of chromosomes hmm? it's made up of chromosomes no 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 inside chromosome we have dna okay. dna is condensed form of chromosome it's made up of protein made up of nitrogenous bases Okay. Phosphate and sugar. Okay. Nitrogenous bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. Okay. okay. And there will be phosphate group and there will be sugar. This is sugar. See, we have sugar and we have base. Any of the bases, it could be a adenine or thymine or guanine or cytosine. Any of the bases and there will be phosphate group okay there will be 
two strands okay we we have double helix structure okay our dna has double helix structure and double one helix. yeah double helix this two strands okay this and is one strand this is one strand and there will be similar to that the other strand and it will be complementary same thing will be there but there will be complementary suppose here the base is suppose if the base is adenine then in the in this one wait like this i'll draw like this okay if base here is adenine then here it will be thymine and if here it is uh, guanine then here it will be cytosine like that got it hmm? okay these all are bases and this one is what sugar and phosphate you know so sugar and phosphate got a dna structure shazan why are you turning there okay uh, how many strands do we have in our dna one two and how many nitrogenous bases four four okay now here right this functional part of the dna is called gene not every uh, dna molecules right are have the capacity uh, to give characteristic only gene okay the functional part okay that is carried from one generation to next generation and it is expressed the other parts are not expressed okay now you you see here this is dominant you have you seen uh, your your ear have you seen your ear is it attached or free lobe is your ear attached or free lobe hmm? is it attached yeah this one you you have to see is it attached or not or it is free attached or free you can see looking near okay, attached attached yeah by touching you can't find right so this one is free and this is attached okay this free one right it is dominant trait that means if if mother is having this trait and and uh, your father is not having this trait then that means the child right will have this trait will have free free lobed ear okay and free lobed ear free lobed okay and in this case also if father and mother both are having this gene then free if only in case of if father is um, having the recessive that is attached attached ear lobe and mother is also having attached ear lobe then the child will have attached ear lobe got it yes ma'am so this free ear lobe is dominant hmm? that is expressing itself more and if uh, if it is with uh, the attached one it will not be able to this attached one right this recessive trait will not be able to express itself when it is on alone right it doesn't have this dominant trait that time only it will be expressing hey shazan why are you looking there okay got it shazan How uh, what did you understand by this? Ma'am, if mother is having this trait and if father is not having the the dominant trait, then the child will have the dominant one. And if both father and mother are having the dominant trait, then uh, the child will also have the dominant. And if both mother and father are having the attached one, then the child will also have the. What is it? See, of uh, how many chromosome do we have? Twenty-three chromosomes, right? Pair, twenty-three pairs, pair of chromosome. So one, one chromosome we get from the father. The other one chromosome we get from the mother. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, till twenty-three. Is this twenty-third one? If it is X and X. then it is female and if it takes y then it is male so this chromosome right it carries what gene it carries gene okay the gene coding right it will be in same locus only the particular gene coding for the ear lobe suppose the ear lobe uh, coding trait okay it is here in chromosome number 1 okay here the locus is here 
So this individual is getting A from mother and small a from father. What will happen? What type of trait, what type of character we will be having? Will, we, will, we, will he be okay. having the free loop character? Free loop. Free loop. Yes. Correct. Good. Got it. So this thing, this character trait, how all this thing came from who? Gregor Mendel. Okay. Gregor John Mendel. Yeah. He was what? Australian genetist. Okay. He had a knowledge of this math, maths. Okay. So he was the first uh, scientist to do maths in bio. So at the time, right, nobody believed him because bio was not related to maths. I think like that. So they didn't believe him. He was not able to um, like uh, explain properly. Okay. So, but uh, three scientists later, um, about 1900, the 10 three scientists, re they rediscovered his work. And after that, he, uh, he was known as what? Father of genetics. Um, what did he do? What, what did he do? He selected seven traits. First thing, let's do the important things. Okay, I'll upload all the notes in Alam Hmm? First of all, uh, let's see character. What is the meaning of character? Um, the characteristics which he has from, which he has uh, inherited from his mother or father. Uh, the character, right? It is characteristic. Character, feature. Character, Features. Right? Yeah. Feature. Uh, uh, like height, color, shape, like that. And trait. What is trait? Um, the uh, traits. Which he, which he or she inherits. See, suppose the height, right? Height is the character. Then trait will be tall or short. Got it? Color is the character. Then trait will be red, blue, green, etc. Got it? The difference between this character and trait. Shaza? What you asking? Can you repeat the question? I'm, I'm not able to hear you. I'm going to repeat the question once again. No, I was telling uh, you got it. The difference between yes, character yes, and yes, that I will, that I will. Got it. Okay. So let's see the traits. Now, shape of she see he selected characters. Okay, he selected characters. Seven characters. Okay, he experimented on Pisum sativum. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Hmm. I'm um, today only bio class will be there. Yes, today bio class. Till six thirty. Yes. Okay. You should have taken the test today. Okay. So now you see here he selected seven characters. What what characters he selected? Shape of seed, color of seed, color of pod. Color of pod. What is pod? Um, the one. The cover. The cover. Okay. The cover. Um. Have you seen the P right? Yes. Yes, uh, uh, in uh, the outer cover, um, there, there is P. That is pod. Okay, the color of pod, then the shape of pod, then plant height and position of flower, then flower color. So these all are the characters he chose. Okay, and for that he found the dominant one. Round was dominant. Yellow was dominant in the case of color of seed. And color of pod, green was dominant. And uh, shape of pod, full. That means the shape was full. Uh, it was mm, good in good shape, not constricted. Okay. And for the height, tall. At leap junction, that means when it is starting, right? Here itself. Here itself, the flower are there. Starts from there itself. Flower starts from there itself. You mean the trunk and the stem? Yeah. From here, the flower will start. After that, only the uh, leaf and all will come. And in case of this recessive trait, what is that? Flower will come at last. Okay. And the color of the flower, we have purple and white. White is the recessive. So, what is chromosome? Something like X shape. This is chromosome. And uh, when do we find this chromosome? During the cell cycle, right? When there is division, that time you will find mostly in metaphase. You learn. What is metaphase? 
it is cell cycle uh, there are many phases okay in that one phase is metaphase where the chromosomes are aligned okay they come together they are aligned in the middle part that is metaphase and we can see this thing in microscope that time only this uh, chromosome is condensed proper chromosome beautiful chromosome you will find during that phase only okay what is this um next what is there g huh? where is it present present on chromosome okay and it is the dna which codes for characters okay firstly gene right a part a dna part gene expressible okay this is dna only from dna what is made rna and from rna what is made proteins enzymes okay so these proteins and enzymes only will do all the work okay so if any changes in gene then the enzymes directly it will reflect on the enzymes protein and there will be changes in the body okay there will be variation suppose in dna in the gene right suppose there, there is some changes this there was tall tall gene okay and uh, what happened there were some changes and it became what small one small p and because of that whatever rna it will encode it will be different from this one and the protein it will encode will be different and it will produce the less amount of uh, enzymes which will help the person to grow tall okay so there will be less enzymes that time so what will happen the person will be small everything is the work of gene now let's see this uh, trait character over then allele different forms of gene is called allele alternate forms different forms p is one allele capital t small t is another allele uh, and it encode for for the same gene that is tallness or roughness this is what we call allele ma'am can you tell once again that when a person is short why a person is short you know so i was giving example okay now this gene right if the gene uh, there is some changes and that changes uh, what will happen uh, whatever enzyme was produced before when the person was tall right tall tall persons uh, tall person individual into a tall indi individual sorry individual hmm? okay. i have a question i have a question i have a question tall individual when uh, tall individual and short individual no i have a question yes tell me um by a uh, new born man uh, he grows more taller than the parents that that, that is what i am telling it is because of genes and the gene if the um, the child right he has this gene it will produce enzymes or protein which will make uh, we have told right what was that um, which was the growth hormone uh, which was the growth hormone shazan when the growth hormone the growth hormone is not able to हार्मो so the child will be tall got it and if the individual is having small t one small t allele okay alternate form of the gene that is allele small t allele that in that time uh, the pituitary uh, enzymes which is produced will not help that much okay in small small amount it is giving so growth hormone will not release properly so the child will be short got it shazan got it understood right yes ma'am okay now let's see hybrid this is hybrid different allele is there right not same type of allele this is same this is hybrid individual okay 
um, no, you have seen here, right? In the here, the name is given for tall for dominant traits, right? For dominant traits, the um, the alil is given as capitals. It is capitalized for round R, capital R, wrinkled small R, yellow capital Y, wrinkle uh, green small Y. It is like this. Got it? And here, this tall capital T, small T. So, uh, in the plants, right, in this P plant, one from one parent, then from the other parent. This this is, this individual is pure. And this individual is also pure, okay? Here, the alleles are same type. When there is cross between these two, what do we get? This is hybrid. This is hybrid. There are two hybrids, then what will form? What two? How, how, how two hybrids? What, uh, what if there are two hybrids, then? Two hybrid. I'm not getting you. Ma'am, like you did for T, T and then small T, small T, ma'am. Okay, it's all right. Well, no, you are asking if we are taking two characters. Yes, ma'am. Two characters, both are, have, both are hybrids. Then, if we do the cross one, then what will we do? See, round, round, yellow, yellow. Cross. This is, this, this was mono hybrid cross. Only one character we are crossing. And this, now I am doing is di hybrid cross. You, you will get this one. This hybrid. This is what I was asking. This is the hybrid. Okay. Let's see. Then we have dominant allele here in tall and dropped. Tall is dominant allele. Drop is recessive allele. The recessive alleles are alleles which express themselves only when the dominant allele is not there. Only that time they will express. Only that time they will speak. Otherwise, they won't speak. Okay? They are afraid of this dominant trait and this dominant alleles. Okay? And genotype. What is genotype? Decomposition. This allele, two alleles, right? This is the genotype of individual. When let me see this, this one you cross, right? Hmm. You can do it here. This is tall plant. Yes. This is short or dwarf. Okay. Hmm. Tall pl plant genotype is this T T. Uh, short or dwarf genotype is small T T. But phenotype, what is phenotype? When my cross this right, he got this one. Okay. And this is, uh, this he found it was tall only. What did he find? He found this as tall only. But here you see this tall and this tall. Both are same, right? You are writing tall, tall. Yes, sir. Right? But genetic makeup, the alleles are different. That composition is different. This is genotype. This is genotype of this tall and this is genotype of this tall. What we see is phenotype. Tall, tall, so That is phenotype. And what is there inside genetic makeup? That is genotype. Got it? And again, what did he do? He crossed this again. What did he find? Ma'am, again, capital and small t. He found like this. Tall, tall, then? Then tall, short. Then tall. Tall, tall. Short, short. Oh my God, ma'am, how is this possible? Hmm? How is this possible? What, what is possible? How it is possible? What? Means the child will have all these four. No, 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 no. This is the tree, okay? Okay, okay. This tree. This is one tree and this is uh, other tree. Both are crossing. Then there will be many individual forming, right? Yes. In that individual, we find some of them are this type, some of them are this type, some of them are this type, and some of them are this type. Okay, okay got it. So, uh, we can see from starting from what? From pure individual, what we are getting next, we got hybrid in second generation. In the third generation, what we got? We got the parent type also. Parent type, right? The small one, which we didn't get in second generation, right? That character, again, we found in the third generation, right? This short one. In the second generation, we were not able to find. Hmm? But in the third generation, we found it. And this is... Uh, small t, small t, and this capital T, small t, this is tall, this is tall, this is tall, and this is drop. Hey, in case of human, what happens? Is human other type? 
this uh, this is the way uh, in stands for human also this happens yeah humans also we one trait we get from parent one um, from mother and one one from the father right this happens in mother um, in our um, in humans also that thing is uh, the chromosome number will be different and the positions of the the locus of the characters will be different so mentally right when he crossed this to in second in second generation he found tall planet only so he thought that okay when crossing the tall and short we uh, we are getting only tall but what do we do uh we can cross this tall one again and again then he crossed this two what he found is that oh we got the first generation one draft one so what is happening here he thought ki in the second generation the tall the draftness was not able to express itself so this tall one is dominant okay and this draft one is recessive that's why in the second generation it was not able to express but in the third generation when it was free from this dominant one it expressed itself got it yes ma'am so this was law of dominance mendel gave law of dominance mm -hmm. mono hybrid cross and di hybrid cross mono hybrid cross means only one cross with uh, between individual based on one character it could be tallness height no tallness i am telling height i am telling it is same thing only like um color of the flower only one trait they are doing the uh, cross okay in di hybrid cross what will happen this is di hybrid cross <laughs> they are taking two characters shape, uh, shape shape of seed and color of seed like that okay then homozygous and heterozygous homozygous meaning the alleles the genes are identical that condition is called homozygous and if it is different this or this is homozygous and if it is different that means it is heterozygous isn't it this offspring gamete gamete female gamete aske huh? um what uh, rashi yes gamete gametes so what is male gamete um male gamete gamete is from and female mam um, over hmm here only the uh, here only uh, the reproduction happens and here only the gametes right they have chromosomes and the variation will occur hmm. see experiment conducted by mendel the first mono hybrid hey shazan hmm. how come your battery is slow did you put charge so it takes a lot of time to charge that's why i told it doesn't you know moves up it only moves down you are able to hear me right yes ma'am okay see this is the mono hybrid cross tall plant and dwarf plant okay from there this is the gamete okay one of the gamete will come and one of the gamete from this tall plant one of the gamete from the dwarf plant and it, uh, during the fertilization it will fuse and we get capital t small t hmm? this is f1 generation this is heterozygous tall next we are selfing this how we are doing this this selfing method Mm hmm see uh, here uh, we 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 got only one thing right one progeny only so again how we are got right again uh, some other tall and short and we are crossing and we are getting the same thing so this one and this one crossing that is selfing okay and how many gametes we will get from this capital t small t from here in this one and uh, capital t small t from this one okay we can draw a checker box from here we are getting two types capital t or small t okay checker box let's do this this one this one this one and this one okay here like this one cross this shazan you are mute first will be two capital t's then one will be capital t small t then the other will be then again uh, capital t and small t and then two no uh, two small t okay 
can you tell me what will be the genotypic ratio? Uh, one. Don't know about this. No, I I taught you what is genotype. Genotype is one is that the small t capital T. Uh, no wait. That R one right? So capital R capital two capital R two capital Y crossed into two small R and small O. You didn't get what genotype. Up? I you didn't get it. No ma'am, I got it. It was uh, two capital T and two small T, which we get uh, one capital one small T. What is genotype? Mm -hmm. It is genetic composition. Mm -hmm. What is present in the individual? That is. So here in this, this is tall T T. Uh, are you finding another capital T, capital T, capital T, capital T here, 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 anywhere else? No ma'am. No. Right. So it is one. Next, what you will, you will see? Capital T, small t. This type of genotype. Are you finding here? Are you finding here? Are you finding here? Are you finding here? It's only in two places. Two places. So it is two. Now tell me the TT type genotype. It's only one. One. So what is genotypic ratio? So two is to one. One is to two is to one. This will be your answer. Now tell me. What is phenotypic ratio? Oh, I don't know this one. Can you tell? Uh, what is phenotype? What are you writing, Shazan? Writing all of this. Huh? I'm writing, I'm writing all of this. You are doing homework? No, no, I'm writing this one which you are uh, showing, which you are doing right now. Making a table. <laughs> really? Okay, tell me, what is phenotype? Mama, I didn't learn the definition. No, 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 I taught you. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Phenotype means seeing. What is seeing? Seeing characters. So now here in this table, what are the traits we are seeing? When you look at something, you will see, right? I'm tall and when I look at you, I will, say, I, I will see that uh, you are wearing red shirt. That seeing part, that red part, that is phenotype. Okay, so here it is tall and short. Right? I don't know which type of uh, shirt you are having, your cotton or whatever it is. I don't know. That is your genotype. Okay. This phenotypic ratio here, what what uh, in this column, in this table, what we are finding? Mom, one, one is tall. Huh? One is uh, then again one is tall and both short. Um, tall. How many tall individual are here in this? Mom, three. Three. Okay. And the other character? I'm only one. Uh, that is one and that is what? What is there? Other character, what one? Oh uh, wait, other characters are uh, three, right? Drop. Okay, actually okay. drop. Drop is and another uh, okay. okay, so phenotypic ratio is three is to one. Okay. Got it? I, I, now you know about genotypic ratio and phenotypic ratio? Yes. So in monohybrid cross, in F2 generation, what is the genotypic ratio? One is to two is to one. And phenotypic ratio? Three is to one. Okay? Next, uh, in the next experiment, what did he do? Mendel took two contrasting character two contrasting character okay he took round yellow round seed yellow color okay seed color will be yellow color of seed and shape of seed he took two characters what what characters he took color of seed and shape of seed okay so first he did pure type dominant traits <laughs> Okay, this is green, I will write with different color, green wrinkled and this is yellow round. In this, uh, what will come in the gamut? Y, one Y, and here the other, cap, capital Y and capital R, and here small R, small R. And from this, this is the gamut and it will fuse, right? What we will get? Um, capital Y, small Y, capital R, small R. Something like this. We got it. And this one was our F1 generation. In F1 generation, what we got? Yellow round seed. Okay, yellow round seed. And uh, here again, we crossed it. Selfing. 
in selfing what type of damage we will get when you why when you cross it one small time right mm -hmm. when we cross this two here here we, which type of damage we will be getting in my don't have any idea okay now wait two capital y one one capital y then one small y like this see e, e, you put like this okay y hmm? then then okay and y r r small r so capital y small r capital y capital y capital r capital y small r then small y capital r small r so here will be small y capital r and here small y small r so are the gametes here also because these both are same right so here also same type of gamete we will be getting and you can form um, form that uh, tabular column <laughs> now tell me shahzan fill this Hmm? Frost. Um, so two y. Um, one will first. First it will be capital y. Capital R. Capital y. Same type. First the same type of uh, alley we choose. Okay. Okay. Then capital R. Capital R. Hmm. Okay. Then capital y. Capital y. Then small r. Capital R. Okay. Yeah. First dominant rate we write. Okay. Then here. That will be. Small y, small small y capital y, mm -hmm. then uh, capital R two times. Then so then again the same thing y y and R small R small y small y small y capital K and small y. small uh, capital y and small y then, then capital R and small R. Hmm. Here it will be uh, capital y capital y. Capital R and small R, and capital Y, capital Y, small R, small R, small Y, capital Y, small R, capital R, so small Y, capital Y, small R, small R, capital Y, small Y, capital R, capital R, capital Y, small Y, small R, capital R, small Y, small Y, capital R, capital R, small Y, small Y, capital R, small R, capital Y, small Y. Capital R, small R, capital Y, small Y, capital R, no, no, only small R, only small R. Cap uh, y, Y, mean small Y, small Y, capital R, small R, small Y, small Y, small R, small R. So these types of individual we are getting. So here in this, what is this one? Uh, yellow, yellow round seed, right? Yellow, yellow round, round. Seed. round. Okay, this type yellow round. How many yellow round are there? Is this yellow round? Yes, ma'am. Okay, one, two. Then is this yellow round? Yes, ma'am. Three. And is this yellow round? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Four. Is this yellow round? The face that's the yellow round. Hmm. Five. Is but, this yellow round? No, it's not. What is this then? Ma'am, it's a uh, uh, wrinkle and green. No, no, no. This is yellow. Dominant rate yellow. Yellow and wrinkled, right? Hmm. Yellow and wrinkled. And the next one is uh, yellow round. This is yellow. Yellow. Round. yellow round. So this is six. And this one? Ma'am, it is uh, yellow wrinkled. Okay, this is yellow wrinkled. So one yellow wrinkled, two so, yellow wrinkled. Now that one is uh, again yellow round. So this is yellow round seven. This seven. one? Yellow round. Yellow round. Eight. This one is the green round. Hmm. So we got new one. Green round. Green round one. And this is. That one is. That one is green round again. Green round two. And this one. The yellow round. Yellow round. So this is ninth one, right? Yes. And the next one will be. That is capital Y is minus one. What is this? Ma'am, that will be yellow wrinkled. Yellow wrinkled. So how many we had? One yellow wrinkled, two yellow, yellow wrinkled, wrinkled and, three. and three yellow wrinkled. And this one? Ma'am, the other one is a green round. Green round. Okay, so we got three green round. And the last one? This green wrinkled. Green wrinkled. Okay, this is fun. Looks like that one is very rare. Mm -hmm. So green wrinkled. So these all are the phenotypes. Nine 
थ्री थ्री वन सो नाइन इज टू नाइन इज टू वन सो इन द सेकेंड एफ टू जनरेशन This one, uh, how will I do it? Right, you're asking. No, no. Uh, show me. Do and show. So you want me to do it on my notebook? Hmm. Ma'am, can you just show me the starting one which you have taken? This one. Which one? Ma'am, can you just move a little bit up? Let me see. Something is missing. Then tell. I will do it again. Ma'am, do you know the typical ratio? I was asking. This was. Ma'am, I wrote the ratio. Right, nine is to three. This was phenotypic. Ratio. What what we had this was phenotypic ratio. I am asking about genotypic ratio. Uh, okay, ma'am. Maybe uh, please have to. Uh, see, see, in this, in this, um, in this we had genotypic ratio. This was phenotypic ratio. I told you to find okay, genotypic okay. ratio. I'll do that. We have to take the T T separate terms, right? Hmm. Genotypic. That's why I written here. This one. Example: How to do it once? Ma'am, it is double Y double R. Ha. So how many are there in this tabular column? Okay. 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 From double Y double R, ma'am, it is one. Hmm. Double Y and capital R small R. How many are there? Ma'am, that is double double Y. Hmm. That is double Y. Um, that is capital Y. Um, it looks like small Y. See, I always do small Y like this. No, but that is just feel like it's small. Okay, no problem. That's one. That's only one. That's only one. Yeah. Okay. And this one, capital Y, small Y, smaller, smaller. No, um, that's one, two, one, two. Two. Yeah. Here one is there. One more where? No, um, one more is the. Uh, uh, sorry, it's double. No, um, one mm-hmm. more is there over uh, there. Okay, I got it. Two. Then this one. I'm going to show that to you. Small one. One I can see over there in the third column of the. Small. Yes, one here. Another one is there. Small, no, small, one. small, no. way, small no. way, small way. Only one is there. Not there. Only one. Hmm. Only one. And this one, small y, small y, capital R, small r. One I can see over there. One there, yeah. one there. That's two. And. It's two. It's only two. Where one more? Where it is? This is one. And which one? This one. Small by small by capital R small R. Small by small by small by capital R small R. I'm seeing the first one. It is more. Where? No, no, no. I'm just capital by capital by. No, no. It is small by small by capital R. Ma'am, it is R. there, ma'am. It is there in the second column of the second row. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's that. That much time I'm taking. Two. So this is two. And this one, last one, small y, small y, capital R, capital R, small R, small R, small R, small R. Only one. One is one. Hmm. So this is the ratio. What genotypic ratio? Okay. And mostly genotypic ratio only there. Only phenotypic ratio for this uh, dihybrid cross expression of trait. This is okay. This is over. Uh, mechanism over. Then we have sex determination. 
this okay. one this is also over i think uh from me there will be x y and mean female always x x from the gamut we get x x type gamut will only be present okay okay and in the, in case of female and in case of uh, male there will be two types of gametes one x type and one y type if x type fusion with x type over then it will be what female and if uh, y type fuses with x type over then it will be male that is sex determination so sex is determined by male okay um, when the class will end yeah now i think the now the class will be over okay any doubt no ma'am in the next class we will do revolution we were reading hmm what i mean the next class i will read and yeah okay if you have any doubt you can ask me start the chapter that's why uh, i didn't read no i told you right i will start after revision there will be this uh, test there will be new class right hmm okay Thank you then bye bye Thank you ma'am bye ma'am ha see you next class